Live from Television Hill, this is WJZ News Special Edition. Here's live Doppler radar. We're seeing this mix of rain and snow outside. Several school districts are closed today or opening late. And that information is on our website, WJZ.com. The WJZ Mobile Weather Lab driving around the region. We're making sure you're prepared for the winter weather ahead. Good morning, I'm Lynn Bowie. We'll get to Maury in a moment, but first we have live team coverage of this wintry weather. First alert meteorologist Meg McNamara and Tim Williams tracking the storm. Amy Kawada live in Carroll County where it is snowing. And Christy Breslin keeping a close eye on traffic. Let's start with Meg and what you need to know right now. Yes, hi there, Lynn. So this winter weather advisory was updated just a few minutes ago. The areas of purple here under this advisory now through 11 o'clock rather than 1 o'clock. And you'll also notice the city, southern Baltimore County, dropped from this advisory. So we're just seeing this warm air kind of holding on, making it really more of an all rain event with just isolated areas of snow. And that's actually going to dissipate over the next couple of hours rather than lingering into the early afternoon. So uh, this is something we're watching. You can see the big picture on the satellite and radar. We're going to get, though, this blast of some very cold temperatures, and that's going to make it brutally cold tonight into tomorrow. I'll send it over to First Alert Meteorologist Tim Williams with more on that. Hi, Tim. Well, hello, May. Good morning, everyone. You know, timing is everything when you're talking about the moisture and the temperatures meeting up at the same time. So, as Meg mentioned, this warm air is holding on and is creating for some very heavy rain around the area. But the colder air is still trying to push on in. It's chasing this rain. So, the colder air moves on in. We're going to see the temperatures drop and we're getting down into the teens overnight. But it looks like the colder air is chasing that rain and now until 10 o'clock we're going to see the steadier snow still trying to move in from the west and as it does it's going to be pushing in against that rain as it's starting to move on out of here the snow will exit getting closer to about lunchtime but in the meantime we're dealing with those wet roads so again temperatures starting to get into that mid 30 degree range we'll start to see some sun through the afternoon but those temperatures are going to drop after this rain is starting to really move out in bulk. And as a result, what we're going to see here are the temperatures getting down into that frigid range, in, heading into the evening hours and into tomorrow. So the AM temperatures going into tomorrow are going to be in the teens. We'll be looking at the temperature staying in the 20s throughout the day and then single digit wind chills into Friday. That's going to make for some refreezing overnight. But for right now, it looks like that warmer air is just holding on long enough that the uh, rain is going to start to make its way out of here before the colder air really starts to settle in. We'll continue to keep you posted throughout the morning. Chrissy Breslin, 